Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I will be designing an infographic using Adobe Illustrator. So, if you watched my previous videos about my digital collage on Rhinos, this is sort of, sort of a follow-up to that. Um, if you didn't watch it, it's fine. But anyway, what I'm going to do today is part of my university assignment and I will be taking you through the steps I went through to produce my infographic. So, this is my university notebook. Yep, I took some notes about different types of infographics. Apparently, there are statistical infographics, informational, timeline, blah blah blah, but that's not our focus. What I did next was sketch out how I wanted my infographic to be. So, I decided, yes, I know it's very messy, but I decided to um, go with the grass down here trees because rhinos lives in the forest and the title goes up here and here would be all the text and other things to think about would be the color palette so i decided that the colors would be red blue and yellow because this will be about malaysia so yeah and for the mood i think i want something bright Right, so I started off with a yellow background and I added some grass, trees and a rhino into it to create the background. I changed the colours to blue because that suited my Malaysian team. So the trees that I picked were not blue, so what I had to do was to go to edit and um, edit the colours of the vector to actually change the colours. I tried making the trees red, but I don't think it works out, so I'm just gonna stick it blue. Okay, time to move the rhinos in. And another rhino. And another rhino. And some clouds. So I'm going to make the rhino red. Now I'm just playing with my text, trying to find the right fonts. What I usually do is I put my fonts at the side so I can use the eyedropper tool to pick up the font size, font color and the font type when, uh, easily. Now I'm just copying and pasting all my information from Microsoft Word.
Okay, I'm just gonna speed things up and give you screenshots of my progress. Yep, and just adding the finishing touches. And we're done! So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you next week!